Mitchy and Daddy were always inseparable, so that's always obviously a big favorite. This one here is Mitchell's last birthday, his number 11, and he died on the, or he, he was 11 years old, born on the 11th of January, so the number 11 is, is big in our family. We're the Ho family. Uh, my name is uh, Stephen Ho. This is my wife, Sarah, our son, Spencer, and our daughter, Marisa. In April of 2008, um, our middle son, Mitchell, who was 11 at the time, was uh, at school during a normal day. He was a regular kid. Um, was during recess, uh, collapsed. And he, it was determined likely at that time he, his heart stopped. He was playing hockey, he had karate, he was playing baseball, um, and in fact he had a recent checkup when everything was uh, given a green light. Um, but his heart did stop on, on the 15th of April and he was resuscitated and brought to Children's Hospital into the ICU. Um, unfortunately, he never regained consciousness. Um, it was determined at that point too that um, we were looking at, uh, at end-of-life care for him. And after we transitioned uh, into that, we, we moved to Canuck Place. Canuck Place offered us, I think, during that time was to help us realize that we needed to be able to move forward and realize that day after day when we came home from our activities that Mitch was still the same and still mm -hmm. on a one-way journey and was not going to be a part of our lives much longer. And the acceptance, I think, that we felt from the house, um, the people in it, the ability to laugh, to cry, to be angry, um, was just all accepted. Um, we loved, we were saying last night how um, had Mitchell died on the playground that day, we all would have been in such a very different place. Um, truly, Canuck Place gave us the gift of time. Mitchell gave us the gift of time, and that is to say that we had six weeks where we knew he wasn't coming back, but six weeks of valuable time um, transitioning into both a, a mental and a physical place, knowing that we were now going to be a family of four. And uh, to have someone support you every step of the way uh, and make whatever you were feeling um, was just unbelievable. And I think that had Mitchie died on the playground that day, we would not be in the same place we are today. It was a real comfort to going back to the house. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, it takes you back. Um, and as much as it takes you back to the deepest, darkest moments that you've had in your life, there's also an incredible comfort because you know that you're embraced. And I think the important part for all of us and for our extended family is that uh, we know at any point we just need to pick up the phone mm -hmm. or send an email or we can go and just sit. Um, just knowing that's there. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll often drive by and look up at Mitchell's room and it's not with gut-wrenching agony that we look at the house because it was an all-encompassing feeling, you know, with a the comfort there. It's, it's very profound and I think our lives would be so very, very different and we'd all be in a very different place without having the help and support and guidance of the Connect Place family. You can't be uh, naive to think that it can't happen to you and that, you know, we were on top of the world. We had three beautiful kids and a beautiful home and a beautiful life. And you can be thrust into crisis like this and without the help of people there to catch us and to support us. I really am frightened to think where we would be as a family and it was so very important for us. We knew early on as a couple having children that we did not want these two kids in 10 years time to turn around and realize that they were so dysfunctional and why didn't we deal with the death of our brother at the time? And so we committed then as a family to just 
power through this. We have to go through it head on. And without the expertise and the time and the facilities that Connect Place has, I can't imagine where we would be as a family. This mm -hmm. would have completely destroyed us. I think one of the important things, when I look back on our time at Connect Place, that um, I think about the impact that it had on us, and, and it, really it's come from the kids, the statements that they've made. Um, we, for I think a year and a half, went to the, the bereavement support group as a family, and um, I think the kids will say that they enjoyed their time there, but I know it was one particular day when we were driving away and um, Spence in particular really does well with the younger children and, and enjoys being with them. And what was it that you said when we drove away that night? Um, I said that I thought it was important for us to help, uh, help other people. So if we had had someone or family like us to help us, I thought that would have been pretty special. Yeah, and I thought that was really profound. And I'm pretty confident that Certainly, as as uh, Marisa and Spencer get older too, I, I'm sure that they're going to want to give back as well to to Canuck Place in in what I think is most important their time. Mm -hmm.